shoot you another few invites shortly they're they're back in game so i'm just gonna hit that observe button and hope they didn't put a five minute delay on this time we'll find out in just a second get the load screen coming up right now back to dry arabia for this abbasid mirror gandalf wait are you not playing today where were you how are you doing we missed you. Like Gandalf, Gandalf's got a lot of stuff going on in his personal life right now. Uh, from Fair. What, from what I know. It's Play, a, playing four one-hour rounds per level is uh, is rough. It's a lot, a lot of kind of time spent there. Well, we are back right into the game. And we have a new seed, so they just uh, made a new map. Which is fine, by the way. You can opt for evil one. All right, yeah, fair, fair point. Okay, folks, we're back into the game. It is once again an Abbasid mirror. This time, Matisse picked a different color. He's purple now. That that makes him stronger, Very right? right? <laughs> so, yeah, uh, certainly you get a bonus uh, if you're not trying to mess with potentially colorblind spectators. I should start messing with uh, colorblind uh, opponents in the ladder. Good point. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that is that is a that is a very good point, Veal. Any edge that you can get. Um, yeah, little differences from map spawns this time. Now Matisse has a very safe gold, where uh, originally he had one forward, and it's War Spite with the more exposed gold at the start. Still, still choosing to go for those sheep right out of the gate, not touching the berries just yet. I honestly think Matisse is not super happy with this because before he had his gold and his stone basically right next to each other. Now he has walking distance. Yeah, that stone is now very far forward for him. Uh, if he's going to consider going eco wing again, we'll see if he makes that choice uh, or if he's going to switch up his house of wisdom wing just based on base layout. Yeah, we are 140, 150 in right now. We'll see how the timings, excuse me, work out this time. By the way, uh, let's see here. Yeah, both both op opting to go with the two on the gold immediately. I I still do the one on food and then three on gold. Curious, very curious. And Warspite has already moved one villager over onto the wood. Amatiz. Yeah, you know, taking those initial um, initial villas, putting them on berries, and then using uh, all the other villagers created that are not on gold to take the sheep right under the TC. So yeah, cutting down on walking time, able to click up faster than his opponent there. And it's going to be eco versus military into feudal here. As far as sheep battles go, fairly even. Warspite has a few more, but yeah, Matisse going for the eco wing once again. The new and improved economy wing. Uh, how do you feel about that one? <laughs> Did you think it was warranted that we now have 35 instead of 30% uh, discount? Was that needed? I don't think it was needed, uh, <laughs> but as an ABBA main this season, it's a welcome surprise. Uh, nice to get that buff. I it's still haven't played around with that with that culture wing tech that gives all those villagers additional HP quite yet. But... Oh, it's so fun. <laughs> I had 145 villager health. <laughs> like, you, you can literally fight with villagers. They're, they're almost as uh, strong as Spearman did. Absolutely nuts. Yeah. I guess my play style, most of my games, not going to end up in Imperial. Even with the Abbasids, I, I do like to take an aggressive stance. Yeah, Matisse, though. Solid build order here. Um, gonna, gonna be able to safely get that second TC up uh, as soon as possible. I'm curious Going about the timing. Pitching. Like, Matisse has 120 gold now, so this uh, almost works out perfectly. He's gonna queue up. There's the uh, Fertile Crescent immediately. That takes 25 seconds to finish. And Warspite is aging up now. The units still have to cross the map. He needs 225 stone for his TC. Uh, wood, he will uh, be fine. And he's also on route. So basically, he has enough. The second uh, the this uh, army here arrives at the base, 
But he still needs to build the TC, so where does he put it safely? Is it gonna go here on the gold? Because he cannot put it next to the stone. Yeah, we'll see where he chooses. Uh, he's got enough stone at this point. War Spite taking his scout over. Gonna put it on the berries, maybe anticipating seeing if the second TC goes in that direction. War Spite also uh, opting to drop a stable immediately. So we'll see that first horseman in the queue right now. I mean, he sees the eco wing, right? And what is Matisse's spawn like? He has the berries here on top. He almost eaten halfway through. And his next food is all the way up top here, where War Spite Scout is already hanging out. Maybe he's expecting the TC to be right here between the berries and the deer. Well, he's going to be disappointed there. But yeah, Matisse might be having a food issue soon. He has 11 sheep to work with. A little bit of berries left, but uh, after that... It's going to be hungry. Oh, yeah, I mean, Fertile Crescent going to help with the farm transition if needed. Like 49 cost farms with, with the Fertile Crescent there. Oh, my uh, God. Immediate Ram. Help him. Immediate Ram. <laughs> I don't know about this. <laughs> okay. I think Matisse is just too well defended at this point for that Ram to really do much of any damage, especially... You know, it's got to break down that wall first. I mean, Matisse is not prepared for this, right? He's going greedy for the Golden Age right now. He's full economy. He doesn't have a single production building. And that ram is going to come in. There's uh, three horsemen. And Warspite is also starting to add in archers now. Still no production building. And units are coming back. And here's the ram revealed. Uh, there's the first hit. And now we do see an archery range coming out from Matisse to... Uh... To deal with that, Warspite doing a good job getting one of those horsemen on Matisse's berries to force all those foodvilles back to sheep. Yeah, it's only sheep now. The issue with the attack right now is right. There's not enough. There's not enough units inside the ram to actually mm -hmm. threaten the villagers. So all this does is take does uh, cause a lot of idle time. I mean that is that is good, right? But he cannot get too close, so he's gonna lose the ram, and that's a lot of investment. Yeah, doing a good job, though, with the uh, micro on those military wing units to pop them in and out of the ram so that they never took any fire from the second TC. Matisse uh, has a little bit too much wood, I'd say, so he opts to go for immediate farms. He realizes what situation he's in. If Warspite is going full aggression, where's Matisse's scout right now? Oh, yeah, just did a little tour of the base, sees the stable, sees the archery range, sees the blacksmith, too. He knows this is one TC all in, and he needs to stay alive, and he knows his food is about to run out. He was dropping barracks for a second there, cancels it. It's going to make a stable as his second production building. We do see those early archers coming out. Going to post up on that second TC. Uh, second ram from War Spite has completed. Yeah, and we got a blacksmith from Matisse. I feel like this is a little bit uh, too soon for the blacksmith because he has four units out right now. He is extremely <laughs> resource starved. And uh, the double ramp, triple ramp push is about to come in. Sheesh. Warspite does not let the grass grow here. Matisse sees the rams. Knows uh, I might be in trouble. Warspite, though, is... Uh, Donating a scout as well. Okay, immediate steel arrow. I mean, this is good, right? Yeah, because the TCs will also do more damage, and we're up to six archers at this point. Let's see if this push can do something. Yeah, I'd be surprised by any other upgrade there. Rams now in position, looking to looking to barrel down on that second TC. You see the villagers jumping into garrison. Here comes the engagement. Villagers with their torches. On to the Rams. Rams need those supporting units to get in there and deal some damage. One Ram is going to go down. Yeah, that is uh, one Ram down, one Villager down, two Villagers down. So the push itself, not really threatening to TC, but Matisse also choosing to fight with a lot of Villagers here. As far as the army count goes, though, Matisse's archers stay alive. And Warspite didn't really hurt the army at all, so Matisse's army count is slowly going up. A little, little worrying. Does the push didn't do a whole lot yet. 
It really feels bad when you invest all that wood into rams and you're not getting any payback from that. I mean... Yeah, that's just 400 yeah, resources when gone. Go, when you go aggro as Abbasid like that, you do the ram drop and then you realize, oh, this push didn't work. Okay, scramble. What do I do to make up for this? Yeah. Spite has moved on, out onto the map, taken some deer. We do see the blueprint for a mill on a second set of berries as well. I feel like maybe he was just too eager with this push. A little bit too soon. The second TC was uh, reasonably fast because, you know, echoing. But uh, food is about to run out. This is the last part of sheep that uh, Matisse has access to. If you just wait for the food to run out, like, that is the moment when Matisse has to move on the map. And yes, he will be 10 villages ahead at that point. Oh, we'll see here. Range defense can... Can it finish before the blacksmith goes down? I think so. Yeah, or under 10 seconds left. Um, I think even if that ram got another hit on there, it wouldn't be enough to stop it. So, range defense will be in. Blacksmith's on fire, but Matisse... Yeah, 10 vils up. We do see a second range. So two range, two stables. Third range being dropped as well. Yeah, it looks like Matisse is able to hold this here because he's also allowed to get the berries at the top now. I mean, not, not looking too bad. Warspite still has a scary army outside the base, but we are already on 13 vils different. Okay, 10 vils different because math is hard. <laughs> I was about to say it's going <laughs> to click uh, and tick up in there. But I, I think the more important thing right now, though, is the military count is slowly evening up as well. Matisse starting his mass. Uh, it's going to be horsemen archers for both players here. Yeah, worse by changing his angle of attack. He, he kind of has to stay on both sides, but honestly, a single horseman here on one of the food sources will be enough to know when Matisse is moving out. Finishes the wall just in time at the bottom side. Because mm -hmm. the raid was about to go in. Yeah, Eco Wing is looking good. There's one Two big rams. difference, right? If we look at the archers, they have 10 extra health. Warspite has uh, 240 extra health to work with right now compared to Matisse's archer ball. True, and he's got both of those uh, range techs from the blacksmith as well, so we're even there. Matisse moving his scout forward, going to see Warspite's army move in onto uh, the House of Wisdom. Those vills going to be chased off of berries. A lot of, a lot of vills for Matisse on berries to the north. I don't think Warspite sees it. He's not moving his army into that direction. Yeah, it's just out of range. I mean, he knows those berries are there. Maybe he's not expecting Matisse to be so bold, but look at that. Horseman number still pretty good for Matisse. Warspite's horses are only arriving now. A little bit of a blunder there, and uh, numbers for the archers are dropping. And the rams are ramming the House of Wisdom. That doesn't feel great, so no real damage done there. No, Vil's being pulled. Those rams are dead. Oh, what are we fighting with villagers here? I don't know about that one. <laughs> Well, it's good to know that even players in uh, Conk 3 pull the same stunts I do with uh, just selecting all the units in that group, telling them to attack something, and uh, pulling some vills uh, out into the mass as well. But Matisse holding here, starting to thin out Warspite's army. Look, it's Abbasid Warspite villagers, right? They're, they're not that strong. They're not that important. No. We can replace them easily. We just make more TCs. We got two TCs. We got fresh food stuffs. Not a huge loss, but Warspite forced to retreat here. Yeah. Warspite sitting on a lot of food bank there at home. I was going to say, is he going to Castle Age? And he is. He totally is because he's putting up a tower on his gold. But I think it's a little too late because Matisse can just do the same thing now. And he's also 15 villagers up. 15 bills up. Uh, big army mass compared to Warspite right now. Haven't seen the move yet from Matisse to gold. Uh, those bills just content with gathering food here as that berry pack to the north runs out. So bills moving on to the deer pack to the north of it. 
Horse Bite's gonna go for another round of raids. Horseman moving towards the top deer pack that he sees moving, sees them dying in the fog. But, well, okay, the walls will be late. Now that is something. Are we gonna see ships in the night? Sees the wall being made. It's fine. Carry on. <laughs> yeah, Matisse able to see those uh, horsemen coming in. Horsemen just gonna focus on that one vill building the wall, get the surround on it. Take out the villager and start moving towards the deer pack to do some sort of economic damage here. Yeah. Matisse is taking the rest of his military, sending it down to Warspite's base right now. Uh, very close to being able to click up for castle. We'll see if Warspite's able to hold this push here. 26 archers for Matisse about to come in. We have a culture wing coming. And we did say it, Warspite has that forward gold. He has one all the way in the corner, and there is also a tower for vision in front of it, so he has that option going for him. But take a look at Matisse's timing. He's basically 15 seconds behind on 2TC, clicking up to Castle Age military wing right now. Yeah. Oh, that feels bad for Warspite. Um, yeah, he'll be, he'll be up to Castle just a little bit faster, but... Not going to be able to do much. We'll see. Is he? Yeah, there is a blacksmith coming down right now. So Gulam's when the castle age completes. But Matisse looking to take the fight right now. Ram on the tower. Military units on those forward houses. War Spite just needs to keep his mass around the TC. Wait for the age up to come in. Create some more units and defend here. Yeah, we've got the 15 seconds difference, but uh, Warspite also wants to get, what's it, what's it called, preservation of knowledge in, usually, because he also doesn't have a whole lot of gold to work with. So what is his weapon of choice going to be? He has one Rex, double double range, and one stable. I guess it's just going to be Knights and Ghulam immediately. No other production buildings prepped at the moment. Okay, never mind, there's another stable at the bottom. And Matisse prepping triple barracks. Well, I wonder what that's going to be. Uh, what unit does the Abbasid get that would uh, force out so many barracks? Oh, yeah, it's the Ghulam. And the, yeah, it's obviously the spe oh, spears. Yeah, Spe yeah the veterancy spears. Yeah. <laughs> I like those. Okay, opting to go for the veteran archers immediately and preservation of knowledge is going to finish as well. I mean, you kind of have to immediately go for that, right? Yeah, no, it, it does feel bad not able to get in preservation of knowledge before that, but, you know, you're in this position. You gotta get veterancy on those archers. Same thing, wedge, river, wedge rivets on the way as well. Oh god, look, to look at Matisse's resources. Is he gonna do it? Is he no actually way. going to do it? <laughs> you got a fast damp, I... No, it's, it's, come on! That's, that's no, no, no. He's he's spending. He's spending. It's all good. Okay. It's all good. He's not insane enough. Uh, gets the boot cam. Well, that's a lot of food in the bank right now. Uh, yeah, but six Gulam in the queue. We do see crossbows from Matiz, lancers as well. War spite adding his Gulams, crossbows, and lancers, but in smaller numbers doesn't have that same eco that Matisse has. It is just a massive difference in economy right now. Yeah, 35% less costs on every eco building. And then, you know, the, those extra villagers do help. We've got both players going for relics, or at least making a mosque. And Matisse with the first Imam in queue. Warspy just doesn't have the gold right now to go for it. Has to get all of these extra upgrades. Matisse, though, no composite bows as far as I can tell. No, nope, still ready to be clicked, but not quite. But instead, he's going for that mango. Mango completes on the field here. We do see Warspite moving some units around the top, looking for some potential raids on Matisse, but Matisse... Surrounded by palisade walls at this point, uh, feeling pretty safe in his base right now. Yeah, the safe perimeter. Uh, interesting to see that uh, Matisse did not go for any raids, even though Warspite, he... Never mind, I was gonna say, not gonna go for raids. There is a double Lancers here, taking out a few wills on the berries. Warspite only has towers, so if you have more than five wills there, someone has to stay outside. 
those veteran sea archers with the uh, composite bows able to clean up those two lancers. Uh, Warspite, yeah, a lot of exposed positions on the map right now. Still looking to torch down that palisade wall. See, Matisse has a vill trying to repair, able to take it out. Um, and now committing to the push in. Matisse, only three horsemen up top to defend. He'll have, he'll have to move his vills back to safety. Yeah, it's real annoying to deal with. Three lances, four horsemen. You can't just ignore that. The Gulam are not uh, fast enough to deal with it. The two camel riders, though, going to help a bunch here. And he's trying to wall him in, but looks like Warspice is... <laughs> is going to take a few steps at the Vilts and be walled in. <laughs> yep, he's not he's not getting out of this one. A quick walls are in place. Sure, Matisse loses a few Vils, but what does that matter when you're over 40 Vils ahead of your opponent? Yeah, and we've got the crossbows here too. Some spears have been added. Those are not happy raiders. Meantime, Mass Archibald with some Ghulam at the bottom side. What is Warspite's move? Warspite's move is trying to get relics. Matisse is one up so far. Matisse one up, but both players carrying another home currently. Those raiders just not able to find any damage in the back, slowly getting picked off by Matisse's defense. Take I think they're just gonna. Oh god. Oh, they're charging into the gold mine, but they're leaving. So they're just going to keep those military units busy for the time being. Take a look at the difference in income. It's so painful. Matisse sitting on so much food right now. And you can see Warspite revealing one of his monks going for what used to be a relic in the south. You can see him take the long way around to yoink that one near Matisse's mill, but he did step on the sacred site in the process. It's fine. We're just we're just gonna wallow all these what uh, 13, 15 villagers down here. And then we're still 30 behind, but hey. Oh well, come on! He's able to sneak that relic out before Warspike can get there. Just a couple of seconds. He walked all the way here. Give the old man some no. Oh, just sad. Just sad. Ulam raids coming in now. This is uh, super annoying if you don't have the walls because you don't even need cavalry to make this uh, effective. But yeah, washed by its army just around the corner. Let's see. Here comes here comes the big engagement. I'm assuming. Let's just hope it comes before Matisse clicks up to Imperial. <laughs> Warspite able to deny one of those relics that was being carried back by Matisse, but those Ghulam in on the deer pack, able to take out a villager or two before they can jump into the tower. Lancers are going to try to try to get rid of these Ghulam. We do see uh, Springled emplacement coming in on that tower. Yeah. Lancers look like they'll thin out the Ghulam numbers, uh, but they've got to be pushed back. They're both down to about half health at this point. Four Ghulam now focused on that tower. Abbasid Ghulam takes so long to kill because they have so much health. 224 plus 29 through the boot camp. And Matisse is actually going to push here while clicking to Imperial because, you know, that is just the classic behavior that you need. I'm just, I'm come on. I just, I just talked you up to clicking up to Imperial. Just click up because you have the resources. That's better than seven thousand uh, resource bank, right? Right. Eight thousand. Focus more on the micro right now. You can see that siege oh, map. Oh, ouch! <laughs> Big connection with that initial mango. But there's the battle outside of Warspite's base. Springle's coming around, not able to pick off one of them. There it is. There's the shot, but the Mango survived. Gulam's pushing in now. And Trade Wing Imperial for Matisse has been clicked. Yeah, Matisse choosing to not engage immediately. Is he going to wait for his upgrades? 1 minute 30. Maybe he's also just waiting for a little bit of vision, a little bit of a better angle. Waspite, though, he sees everything. He has the tower here. Got a Wololo at the top. Okay, just to defend against that, which is going to buy him a few seconds. Springle trades out, but the Mango is down. 
Matisse wins the siege war, but the mango is not going to be an issue in this fight. As far as numbers go, looks okay for Warspite here, but well, Matisse is uh, hitting Imperial in one minute, and Warspite is nowhere near that. No, not at all. Warspite continuing to push out just a little further. Gulam's coming up to be the front line, but they're getting picked off by crossbows. A lot of archers from Warspite here. Matisse now able to get his Gulam onto that mass, gonna force Warspite back here. Uh, meanwhile, that little raid near Warspite's House of Wisdom, a couple of units gonna come in, deal some damage to Warspite's eco while this main battle is coming into his TC. Yeah, I mean, there's there's really no way to hold it. We see the Siege Workshop now. It's a little late. He needed that Siege out for this fight. He was already behind on it. I'll say in about 13 seconds when that trade wing hits, he's gonna tap out. Because he, yeah. he sees he's not holding this. He doesn't have the walls up. He did uh, get two of three, five relics. Also not great. And there's uh, raids in his backline. It feels bad. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Oh. Imperial into surrender. And I mean, Matisse still sitting on a huge pile of resources behind all of that would have been able to get in all of those techs uh, basically immediately honestly it makes me a little sad i'm always rooting for the guy who goes full feudal aggression but yeah no no dice no luck yeah uh just not able to get really any damage from those rams in the early game and i think he lost maybe three or four within the first 10 minutes and that's such a huge investment especially your opponents on 2tc um so you lose those resources and then the resource divide just grows bigger and bigger as you can't catch up economically with the abyssin 2tc